Ron's Jerry oh, Lewis. There's Ray. <laughs> See, I'm all over here excited about Jerry Lewis. Adopted a bounce of youth strategy. The individual members are simply Roy. Once they reach the age of 16. Oh my God. Ricky. I remember Ricky. They were the first boy oh band because the formula wasn't already there. They had these massive pop hits that were internationally popular. That is something that Menudo taught us boy bands could do. It's called Menuditis. Nosotros teníamos una avenida paralizada en Nueva York. The Puerto Rican community was invisible to English language media. Y de pronto llegan cinco chicos puertorriqueños rompiendo con todo ese estereotipo cantando español. And you're like, oh my God, these kids are like me. Such a sense of pride. And that was just so freaking magical. There were a lot of good things that came out of Menudo, but there was a price to pay for that magic. Ooh. None of us were really prepared for what it was really going to be like. There was no interest in protecting us. We felt vulnerable. I remember being in Brazil and finding myself in a room of these older men asking me if I'm already liking sex. Oh, Jesus. What are customs doing with you? How many drugs? Well, we never do that. I start throwing up blood. I could have died if it was going to cost me my life. What the I'd rather not be famous and live. Whoa. Menudo was a beautiful thing that came out of a not so beautiful situation. Sex, drugs, and rock and roll. That's what it was. Menudo opened up the possibility that Robbie this Rosa. is something we can aspire to. La historia de Menudo will live on forever. Wow. Well, sadly, it looks like it carries a lot of the same mm -hmm. tropes as uh, most of your VH1 behind the story type documentaries. But yeah. Wow. I, I thought the good. sad part, I knew there was going to be a sad part, but I thought it was just going to be about how when they turned like 16 or 18 or something. <laughs> well, we already got, know that. They got we kicked out that. of the band. I didn't know there was going to be drugs. And you oh, guys yeah. recognize the, the, the kid here in the front, front right? Uh, Sort of. Ricky yeah. Martin. Yeah. That's Ricky, Ricky Martin, Martin on the front, right? Ricky Martin. Uh, I'm looking at, I'm sorry, left. front left. Oh, yeah. Front left. I was going to say, on the right? I'm not so sure. But... I didn't know he was in Menudo. Oh, oh you yeah. didn't know? What? You lie. I swear, I didn't. Are you kidding I me? I'm not even a fan. Like, you were sitting here squeeing like five minutes ago. So, <laughs> so this is Robbie Ro This is This is Ricky Martin, and then over here is Robbie Rosa. I got to thank that motherfucker for living La Vida On Loca. the left is Ray. Okay. So I, I know kid. Robbie's story a little bit. Robbie Rosa kind of defected and he he had it a he's had an acclaimed solo career and he wrote Living La Vida Loca for Ricky. Yeah. Really? Robbie Rosa has worked with uh, I say I've heard Rob. his name come up quite often. Yeah. yeah. His music is amazing. I mean, his music I still listen to this to this day. Um Okay. Well, here's, uh, here's a uh, testimony to that damn song. Uh, yeah. When I worked in radio, I worked in an AC country station. Mm -hmm. And even then, when we get new songs in there, we'd get these discs and they'd be a collection of songs. And we'd work them in the rotation about three times a day, depending on the disc. Sometimes mm -hmm. two, times, sometimes one. When the disc with Livin' La Vida Loca came in on it, that sucker got thrown into rotation right away several times over even though we didn't play, that was the one of the rare times we didn't play all the other songs they told us specifically that mm -hmm. song's in heavy rotation i never had that happen when i worked it and being that that's an ac country station that says a lot what is it AC just shows country? the impact adult contemporary oh okay so it's like you know easy listening type shit yeah, yeah. i mean i i like if i could play john mellencamp i could play like pink houses but i could not play like uh it hurt so good <laughs> you know what i mean like <laughs> there's where the line's yeah, drawn you know, like. wow this is so taking me back some of these Dude. guys i don't know at all well the 90s i wouldn't i was way over right that right time. that's when they kind of but no as far as menudo like yeah this looks interesting and this is what's great about these kind Look of streaming services is you can get a, take a deep dive into these mm -hmm. uh these bands and and boy groups and especially menudo who has a huge history behind it as you said and Again, the history precedes the, the, the group for me more than the songs themselves. But they bring up an interesting point. They were kind of almost ignored to the point where they didn't, you couldn't ignore them anymore, right? Like that's kind of what it was. It was well, it, what, yeah. Music wise. Well, what I'm getting to from the story, there's going to be some dark shit that I don't want to see. Yeah. I don't want to know. 
Well, that's part of the game sometimes, unfortunately, and uh, if that's the way it is, you may want to avoid the, the documentary, I bet. No, so. I mean, wow. you know, I, I totally want to see this. Absolutely. I want to review yeah. it. Uh, you know, um, I'm a fan of this producer. He did another one called uh, Mucho Mucho Amor, the Walter Miranda. He was that astrological guy, had the big flowing blonde hair from, from Puerto Rico. I don't know if you ever heard of him. Mm -mm. He was Fabio? like, you know, he started the uh, Walter Walter Mercado, excuse me, Walter Mercado. Um, anyways, this this producer uh, does really good doc docs, and uh, I, I yeah. I, what, so what are your what are your thoughts here? You, you guys want to? Would you guys see this one? I, as soon as I heard about it, which was a while ago, I one hundred percent planned on seeing it, and I've been meaning to send. Uh, an article about it to my sister because she was also a huge fan. Like I had a purple monkey named Ray because he was my favorite. This is just crazy that I'm sitting here. Wow, it is crazy. This trailer with you guys. <laughs> well, that just shows you how how huge these guys were. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna. I'm definitely gonna watch. Is it out now? It is out. It looks like it's out June twenty third. Twenty third. HBO Max. Okay. Menudo forever. Yeah. Young. Thank you to all of you who have donated or are going to donate. Hit the super thanks and enjoy the video.